other question? Mr. Bruce, you commented, uh, I think rather well, on the situation in which the non-whites uh, Bolivia's find in South Africa find themselves and the effect of this system on them. I wonder if, from your experience, you could comment on the effects that this system has had on the whites in South Africa. <coughs> A large question, and what I'll try to do is uh, maybe just select what seem to me the salient features. I think the thing which stands out most clearly is the extent to which white opposition to apartheid has shrunk. The number of white South Africans who would go to prison, who would demonstrate, who would protest, uh, the way the vote has, has changed, the way the the United Party, the so-called opposition party, has become almost a mirror image of the governing party so that they don't disagree on how the blacks ought to be treated, except in minor details. I would say that the liberalism of the Alan Paytons and the Trevor Huddlestons, the Eustace de Blancs and people like that, is probably a thing of the past. The only hopeful uh, feature in this area is the student protest. The fact that white South African students have been beaten by the police. Recently they protested on the steps of a cathedral. When the police charged them, they ran into the cathedral and were hauled out of the cathedral by the police, most of them by the hair. So that one sees still some signs of concern and protest. I think that for the majority of white South Africans, the choice has been clear and has been clarified. They must either preserve their privilege, their comfort, their position of power, or by consenting to share it with blacks, they will diminish their own uh, portion. And the choice for them has been posed in these terms, one in which most of them have opted for, well, as long as we can keep the blacks in order, we need a strong man to do it. I think it has had enormous psychic damage it has enormous moral damage. And certainly in the cultural area, South Africa has become almost a desert. Whether it's music or theater, painting, uh, poetry, there's so little written. Perhaps people like Nadine Gordimer uh, redeemed the scene at Athel Fugard. Um, I think that when you blinker your eyes, to the recognition of someone else's humanity. And when you consent in the destruction of his humanity, because that's the price of preserving your own privilege, uh, something happens to you. I think it happened in Germany. I think it's happening in South Africa. When you remember that the present Prime Minister, Mr. Forster, had to be interned during the war for his pro-Nazi activities, the head of the South African secret police now was interned in the same cell with the Prime Minister, the head of the South African State Church, who is the brother of Mr. Forster, was interned for his support for the Nazis. You see the kind of political climate uh, um, f now existing, and you also see its origins, uh, where people are coming from. I guess that's all I can say at this thing. I think we'll have time for only one more question. Oh, I see two hands. Can we take those two? All right.
I, I don't think I need comment on that, except that I, I think it's a point worth stressing that if indeed we make our judgments of a society in terms of material benefit a, and place uh, a man's freedom, a man's dignity as of lesser importance, then something has happened to our own values. Something has got mixed up on the way. Uh, there was another question over there. Um, well, I think there are a number of issues there. The first is, um, does it come from all sections? The answer, I guess, is yes, if you mean what I mean, or no, if you mean something else. It depends. <laughs> uh, it has been a protest which came from both black and white students. And what is interesting is that it started on a black campus in one of these tribal institutions where the blacks are taught to know their place. And as the previous Minister of Education, Mr. Favurt, said, uh, uh, the blacks must be taught not to aspire to the green pastures which are reserved for white South Africans. So it was on one of these uh, special campuses that a black student got up and attacked the educational apartheid. He was expelled. His whole campus went on strike then white students in all white campuses came out in sy sympathy strikes. So in that sense, you may say it came from both sections. In terms of whether, in fact, it is reflective of a general uh, protest in the society, regrettably, the answer must be no. This is really a very small minority. And so to take the next point you, you raised, uh, if you're asking whether the solution to South African racial domination can come through black students, or for that matter, white students, or both together, I fear the answer is no. Uh, South Africa is committed through the apartheid government to nothing less than a military solution. These are people who will shoot their way out, who will die with their backs to the wall, there is no hope of a surrender or transfer of power except on those terms. So protest is valuable as a contributory factor. One must hope that one can minimize the, the extent and the scale of the armed conflict when it comes so that not too many die, that there is not too much economic chaos. But you must understand that the white racist minority, and that's not the whole of white South African society, the white racist minority is prepared to hold on to power by the force of the gun. And if they're going to surrender it, it will only be on those terms. Now, I saw you had your hand up, or have I answered your question? It's an interesting question and perhaps too specialized for a general audience, but it is quite true that some of the protest against apartheid has come from what were traditionally Afrikaner campuses like Stellenbosch and Pochestrom, as well as Cape Town, Rhodes, Natal, Witz. Uh, so uh, to some extent uh, I can answer yes, that it is no longer, it's always been a stereotype that it was the English who were the liberals and the Afrikaners who were the reactionaries. The blacks have never believed this. We've always known that there are liberal elements in both, in both groups. I'm going to call quits to the questions there because Mr. Brutus has been most generous and given a very long day. Thank you all for coming and thank you very much, Mr. Brutus.